Hey guys, so Lord here, back down with another review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Shriek from the Spider-Man No Way Home slash Armadillo Build-A-Figure Wave. So with that being said, here's the part she comes with for said Armadillo Build-A-Figure, and as you can see, it's a big hunk of chunk of torso with this back plate, which you can unpeg. Has a standard peg there. And as far as articulation on this thing goes, it just seems to have a crunch here. Uh, I haven't been able to get any real rotation or tilt out of this. So, yeah, not quite sure what's going on there. Just kind of feels like the peg is flexing a bit. So, uh, you know, hashtag don't break your toys. But, yeah, it doesn't feel like that gets any more movement out of it. I'll have to watch a review of this at some point, figure that out. But, uh, he also has the T-jointed hips down here with the big old peg knobs for the legs. And he's got this little double ball peg in the neck, but it doesn't really seem to move either. So, a very static build-a-figure, but I will tell you, this has potential to beat out Ursa Major for Bath of the Year. Yeah, it's no Venom Pool, but let's face it, aside from that Red Hulk, Ghost Rider, Venom craziness from that circle of four comic that i'd really love to see a figure of i don't think anything's going to beat that venom pool out maybe a venom the madness but it'd have to be something like that or the man spider seriously where is a man spider bath we've gotten how many spider-man waves but at any rate getting into the meat and taters of this video shriek comes with two extra sets of hands she comes with these open hands which we've seen a million bajillion times before but they're nice nonetheless they do hinge up and down or in and out i should say and then she also comes with a pair of grip hands not sure why maybe they're made to hold carnage's cock because she is his wife after all but uh, they don't have the appropriate hinge they have the in and out hinge as well so that's kind of silly uh I would have preferred if they left these hands out and maybe gave her an extra head because her name is Shriek. I assume she shrieks, so, you know, whatever. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm just happy to have this character because she helps to almost complete a team that I'm quite fond of, the Max Carnage team, which is, of course, Carnage, Demogoblin, Doppelganger, and the last one we haven't gotten yet is Carrion, which is basically... Another Green Goblin looking guy or Hobgoblin looking guy. I can't remember which, but something like that. Gotta love the 90s, right? Taking a close-up look at her. This is an all-new body, as far as I'm concerned, that still has small tits and no ass. <sighs> Y'all know how women are built, right? Like, I've dated women who have more form than this. I'm gonna be real with you. Like, what... Why is she built like a 15-year-old? That's that's weird. But at any rate, uh, she is a little bit better than what we're used to seeing, but it still needs improvement. These could have been bigger. This could have been bigger. Um, this is a 90s character. If anything, she should be proportioned like Lady Death. <laughs> like, let's be real here. But other than that, my only real gripe with this figure is the head sits a little bit high for my liking. Um doesn't exactly sit the lowest i think it could sit a little bit lower than it is if i can pop it off here you can see that yes it does have a uh, hinge there and uh, no real post connected to that ball peg so maybe if you hollowed out this hole a little bit more you could plop it on there and have it sit a little better but that said those are my only gripes with this figure. Uh, because other than small boobages and small buttocks, she's really well proportioned. Um, I think. Pretty sure she is. She looks it anyways. Uh, the legs, the uh, upper legs are nice and kind of thick. Then the lower legs kind of slim out. And then the arms are not too spindly. She's proportioned pretty well other than the torso. And the paint, for white paint on a black figure, really clean. 
that and I like the nice matte black. It gives it a more collectible feel. It feels more like a collectible instead of, you know, a kid's toy like some of these figures sometimes come out. It's a really nice figure. Probably my favorite female Marvel... No, scratch that. That's uh, Lady Deathstrike. Probably my second favorite female Marvel Legends figure we've gotten all year. Uh, I like Ironheart as much as the next guy. But Shriek is a character I wanted more. She looks cool. I always liked her design. And she goes with old Cletus Cassidy. So what more could you possibly ask for? Pinless elbows and knees? She got that too. So as far as articulation goes on her, her head will move forward and back. Kind of lollipops, but not too much. Not too much that there's a gnarly gap in there anyways. Shoulders go out to the side. They go back down. They move forward and back. She has a bicep swivel. She also has double jointed elbows. Now be careful with these. You're probably going to want to heat these up. I didn't have to on mine. But I will tell you, they are really stiff out of package. This one, I can't even get the lower joint to move. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, really stiff out of package, but you can get plenty of range out of that. No problem. Ah, boy. Then she does have the hinge and swivel wrists. Again, all the wrists have the appropriate hinges except for the grip hands. That's whatever, because she doesn't have anything to hold anyway, so those are kind of pointless. Her diaphragm can move back pretty far, crunch forward a tiny bit. Then it tilts side to side really well and rotates, but you are going to split the uh, pattern for her costume up when you do that. So it's best just to use it as a rock or a tilt, which you do get plenty of out of that. And it's nice and tight, so I do appreciate that. As far as her hips go, she kicks out to the side a decent amount. Back down, forward, about a right angle to the body. Not too much kicking outward with that. Can't kick back because of her bootay, because while it is small, it does still get in the way. She does have a thigh cut. She has double jointed knees, which again are really stiff on this figure can hear that gee whiz uh, no calf swivel because those are stupid and ugly but she does have a hinge in the ankle with a rocker and peg holes at the bottom of the feet and this loose fitting belt piece which is kind of annoying because it just kind of flops around but i can live with it she does have a bracelet over here which i'm surprised this is sculpted onto the arm and not a separate piece like i've even gone so far as to pop this hand out try and slide this piece off and it's attached to the arm there's no moving that or anything so kind of interesting they made a unique lower arm just for this character i don't believe tiger utilizes this part i can only assume she utilizes these arms and legs but don't hold me to that i don't have that figure but yeah really well done kind of basic base body figure uh, i don't know if the frankie ray is that her name nova from the galactus has lab utilizes any of these parts or not i want to say that this is the basic female body we're going to be seeing most of the time but again don't hold me to that i don't know everything about these figures but uh, it's not a bad one. It's definitely a step up. I will say the one foot on mine is really tight. Like, holy crap. Probably would help to heat that up a little more. But not too shabby at all. I really dig how this figure came out. It could have been better in the torso, yes. But the arms and the legs are really where my problems lied with female Marvel Legends. They're just a pain in the butt to stand. And this pretty much omits those problems and has a really nice finish to it. Gives it a more premium look. So with that being said, let's take a look at some comparisons. First up, here is Shriek next to her hubby hubby, good old Cletus Cassidy, a.k.a. Carnage, which I decided to get out the one from the Monster Venom Build-A-Figure Wave instead of the Venom Pool Build-A-Figure Wave because I think this is the look that more people associate 
with this character. As much as I like the Venom Pool Wave Carnage, I think that's a more modern look, and I'm not sure if Shriek is as relevant in those comics as she was with this era of Carnage. That said, though, I think they scale pretty well together, and I think she would scale well with the other one, too, but again, this is a more classic-looking one. It was the one that was more relevant at the time. But on top of that, we also have the Venom PulseCon exclusive based off the Spider-Man animated series, which I guess is pushing almost 90, 100 bucks now on eBay, according to my buddy T-Biz. Shout out to T-Biz, which... the hell is wrong with you people? Um, <laughs> It's cool, but it's not that cool, and he doesn't even have the white squares, and he has gummy knees and ports on his shoulders. I don't, you people are crazy out there spending money like it's water but at any rate she is of course smaller than him and hopefully at some point we will get a classic venom to go with our max carnage lineup i know we've gotten some classic venoms before but they're on that crap hyperion body we need one on this body right here and last but certainly not least we have our two regulars the mythic legion's brother mandibulus the mk 11 spawn who as usual towers over everybody so with that being said time to wrap things up some final thoughts overall and while i do really like this figure as far as a base body goes and i'm looking forward to seeing what other characters can utilize these parts i have to say it's far from perfect yeah it might be my second favorite female marvel legend we've gotten this year but considering the year we have had it's not saying much unfortunately and as much as I like this character, it still doesn't excuse the fact that she's kind of lacking in the accessory department, especially to showcase her power set. I mean, her name is Shriek. Where's the screaming head? Does she not do that? Am I a doofus and don't know what I'm talking about? I have no idea. On top of not having chesticles or a decent booty to boot, yeah, she's far from perfect, but... I still like the figure, and if you are like me and are interested in completing the Max Carnage team, then this is a definite must-have for you. So in that case, I would highly recommend you pick this figure up. She is a new character, so there is that too. That's always a plus side in my opinion. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you are so inclined, please hit that notification bell so you know whenever I upload more reviews like this one because we've got to show that algorithm moves boss, right? If you haven't already, hit me up on Instagram at Overlord Productions. But as always, keep the comments civil, because the world sucks enough as it is. And until next time, catch you guys later.